Welcome to the Improving Rust Our Rust Skills by making an ECS library course. Um, this course is going to be broken up into two sections. Uh, the first one, we're going to have all the lessons. These are going to be very short, tightly focused videos on individual parts of, uh, of Rust that will help us in the second part, which is going to be the main project. For each of these individual lessons, we're going to go over uh, some things that I found tricky when I was learning Rust and uh, basically some other things that we may not have run into if, if, if we've been programming Rust for, you know, a little bit of time, but haven't really dove into some of the more advanced sections of it. The entire course itself, I would say, is like mid-level uh, Rust maybe like sort of a good transition from beginner into mid-level. Uh, we're not gonna get into super, super, super in-depth Rust. We're not gonna be doing systems programming, but we are going to be learning things like interior uh, mutability using RC and RefCell, for example. Uh, for this main project, uh, we're choosing an ECS library. If you're not familiar with game development, it is a method, it's a way of essentially having an in-memory database to have faster access to our data and uh, ensure that uh, we can get all the calculations done uh, as fast as possible for everything that needs to be done within a 60 frames per second game. Now, uh, while ECSs are almost always used within game development and sometimes are used outside of game development, uh, I think I feel that these type of projects are really helpful in keeping us from burning out, but also they're really helpful because they require a little bit more advanced uh, Rust and advanced uh, algorithms. And we don't really get that in normal web development. So that's why I chose this. Plus it's something I'm really passionate about right now. So I felt that uh, it's something that I'm learning, I'm getting better at, and I wanted to, uh, to help you all get better too. Um, before taking this course, I do have a few uh, recommendations for prerequisites. Uh, you don't have to be super familiar with Rust, but knowing the very basics, like how to use functions, how to assign variables, um, uh, just general scoping rules would be really helpful. So basically, at least the first few chapters of the official Rust book. Um, you can read the Rust book at, uh, at um, I'll link to I'll, I'll link to the book in the uh, the description here. Um, but this is a free book that you can get on the Rust main website. Um, also, because this is a free course on YouTube, I would love it if you leave any comments um, or thoughts or recommendations of how it can be improved uh, in the comments. And uh, we also have a Discord. I'll put a link to the, uh, the, the you know, to be able to join the Discord in the uh, uh, the description of the video as well. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoy this course and uh, I hope to see you online and uh, all during it. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.